I'm lost in Calgary Airport. Long story short, I was down in Texas visiting my family. That's where my family lives. And uh, I go to university in Victoria, which is in British Columbia. So, as it's impossible to fly directly from Houston, Texas to Victoria, BC, I flew instead to Calgary with the intention of catching a connecting flight to Victoria. My flight to Calgary was delayed. My connection to Victoria was not. But depending on how flights work, I'm either going to have a 12 hour layover at the smallest or an entire day the longest. Oh boy. been about an hour and I found out that my airline, whose name I will not disclose, they were going to put me in a hotel and give me a meal voucher, which is great because I have a potential 24 hour layover. The problem, no one from there can be found. It's winter, it's Calgary, it's freezing outside, like I can feel it through, through here. It's like that type of cold where it's hard to breathe and growing up in the southern United States, I'm not used to that. So we'll see where things go from here. Let's hope it's, it all works out well. That was an ordeal. I'm not actually rebooked on a flight for tomorrow. I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to get booked on something to Vancouver and I'll just take a ferry to Victoria from there. I'm exhausted. United's put me in a hotel and them being the organized folks that they are, uh, put me on another flight twice only to then be like, oh, sorry, no, that flight's full. You can't go on it. So, uh, yeah, fuck you, United. I'm done with flying f uh, for a while. I'm done and I need some dinner. Holy shit, it's cold. <coughs> well, it's not even that it's cold, it's that it's hard to breathe. Oh, thank God I made it. Well, who knew? United actually put me in a nice hotel. Seriously, this is nice. I'm in Calgary, so drinking age is 18. This is called a Grizzly Paw, and this is one of the best beers I have ever had. So why don't I give you a little tour of my uh, home for the evening. So on our right, we have the loo. Closet. Bed. Comfy bed. Chair, TV, and now to test out the bed. Oh. Yeah, that's good. What a beautiful morning it is in Calgary. Or at least it would be if what I just showed you wasn't just stock footage from the internet. Now, over the past night, some very important things happened. I did not end up getting drunk. In fact, I was exhausted, so I went to bed after only a couple beers. More importantly, I got on the phone with WestJet, who is not United Airlines, because, well, I'm sick and tired of United Airlines. And so, after probably going getting a nice proper Canadian breakfast, and by proper Canadian breakfast, I mean I'm gonna stop by Tim Hortons. I'm gonna head back to Calgary Airport, and I'm going to fly to Vancouver. From Vancouver, I'm expecting to either take a seaplane or a ferry, whatever's quickest. Because while I'd love to spend time in Vancouver, I'd rather not do it while lugging two big bags around. So, there we go. With that, let's get started. <laughs> It's 
slight change of plan thanks to me trying to get the desperate three hours of sleep. Uh, I sl ever so slightly missed boarding. However, there's a direct flight to Vancouver, so I'm doing that and I get in actually slightly earlier, so I think that's actually better. Despite the events of the past 24 hours, I can't complain. I'm back in Canada. I, they put me on an even earlier flight than before, and honestly, I can't wait just to be able to get to Vancouver, walk around a bit, and then just take a, a seaplane or a ferry back to Victoria. I've reached Vancouver, and that means that, uh, well, initially I thought I was going to have to stay here for a while, but actually I have a flight in just about an hour to Victoria. I think it's called Pacific Coastal Airlines. I've never flown on them. Apparently there's a completely different airport terminal I need to go to. I need to take uh, like a cab or something to get there. I'll figure it out. may seem a bit fishy right here. Nothing with my flight, everything's fine. It's on time. I'm through through the, the gate, the security gate thing over there in five minutes, and I'm on my way to Victoria. finally made it back to my home in Victoria and it's been quite a trip but at least I made it safe and sound. I've learned a lot of things through this experience though the three main ones can be summarized as this. First off, Calgary is cold. Second off, beer is tasty. Third off, I do not think I will be flying United Airlines again. Quite frankly, They've put me off from any further flying experiences. If you tell me you can put me on a connecting flight or can help me resolve my issue with a connection that you made me miss, don't lie. Don't tell me that yes, you're on a flight when you aren't. On the bright side, I took Pacific Coastline Air Airlines and I'm quite happy with that. I thought they were a very nice little airline. So that is it for today's weird, strange, ordeal of a vlog. Have you guys had any weird or terrible travel experiences? What do you think about what I'm saying about airlines that, you know, some of them particularly loved a major ones such as United can be terrible, but also that there are some good ones out there. Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Has my video put you off from air travel? I hope not. Not all airlines are bad. But regardless, I would love to hear your thoughts on all of this in the comments down below. Now, if you excuse me, Oh, I'm going to go get some sleep. Good night, ladies and gentlemen.